Well, good evening, London Real. Um, and thank you, Brian, for accepting me onto this group. Um, Honoured and privileged. Um, been really inspired by the uh, Dan Pena stuff. Inspired, irritated, made uncomfortable, but I've loved it. Um, I'm a massive fan of uh, Jeff Thompson. I've known him of old. Um, and I've seen Brian, I've read some, seen some of Brian's interviews with him, absolutely outstanding. And I could never see the correlation between Jeff and uh, Dan Pena, because Jeff is not your aggressive in your face guy, even though he used to be. But what I could see the crossover, and it's really interesting if you see both interviews, is the sacrifice and the service to others. Dan doesn't ask any money for his stuff, unless you go to one of his uh, castle seminars. But he gives away so much, and uh, Jeff as well. I know. I, I know. I've had the um, the honour of receiving stuff. I work with young people, and he he sent. Oh, I don't want to embarrass him, but he sent me a huge uh, gift of um, his books and DVDs and that to share amongst people, uh, because it's reciprocal when you serve. It does come back to you. But I know he didn't do it for that reason. I did it because he, he did it because he's a genuinely lovely, lovely man. So. Uh, I can't uh, honour or thank him enough. And I, I, if I could be half the man of it, he is, I'd be, wow, well, what, a, what a guy. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. So the accelerator, what do I want to do? I have a massive passion for young people. Uh, a massive passion for tapping into, the, um, into what they can't see. You know, we everyone's into uh, personal development and being a better person and improving their chances. And it's often later in life that we realise we could have screwed up and we've got a lot to make up. And my passion is to identify that early on in life and really tap into this hidden potential that many of these young people that I work with, these teenagers, don't actually see yet. And giving them the, the chance to look at different options in life, staying away from uh, you know, drugs and, and negative um, cultures, um, and, and, and like as Dan Pena said, you're only you're sort of the five, look at the five people you hang out with, and that's the person you are. And my way, I do it with kids. Sorry, it's a bit graphic, but if you're rolling shit, you smell of shit, and that's what happens basically. And that's what I'm trying to get across to these kids. I love them to bits. I just see so much potential, and I want them to see it. So f going off tangent a little bit there. Sorry, my passion now. I work a lot with kids who are on the verge of being kicked out of education. And uh, for one, for many different reasons, I've been to uh, PRUs, which are pupil referral units, and they're a bit like a holding area for naughty kids. And no one really cares what happens to them. There's no future for them. And all it is is an area where naughty kids feed off of naughty kids and become naughtier. They hone their skills, i.e. they start learning how to get into drugs, how to steal, to get involved in criminal activity. So my passion, my dream, has actually really clicked in when I watched one of Dan Pena's bits about when he was advising someone to get into healthcare in one of his talks, I don't know if it's recent or whatever, um, invest because the health service is in a bad one. I think he was talking to a dentist and all that. Do something within health health industry. Well, what about education? I know we've got um, different organisations now running academies and things like that, but no one has yet tapped into um, the bad boy side of things, you know, where the, 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 the misspent youth, those are dysfunctional, disengaged young people who basically need some some tough love, and I mean love as well, I mean generally look to be cared for, um, a strong male and female role models that will guide them and take them in the right direction. So that's my vision. I want to open, I want to open and I want to run my first school I'm not a qualified teacher, so I'll bring in other people to do that. As um, you know, many um, like people like the Dan Penyers of this world, if they don't know how to do it, they'll find someone else who can do it for them. But my passion, my passion, will make this happen. Um, it's it's strong. It's, it burns in, inside my stomach, and I wish I'd had someone who'd had that when I was a teenager to kick me up the backside and put me in the right direction. Um, so yeah, so that's my passion. I hope you guys get it. I, I wish you all the best of all your dreams, all your business ideas, uh, and I'm looking forward to some really good feedback, constructive feedback, 
and um, some kicks up the backside as well when I start uh, dropping the ball a little bit with my dream and my passion. I hope to give you some uh, good feedback over the next few weeks as to where I'm going with this. God bless, um, take care and uh, peace and love to you all. Thank you.